Today, I would like to provide the American white people with an update on the White House transition and our policy plans for the first 100 days. So important. Our transition team is working very smoothly, efficiently, and effectively. Truly great and talented white people, patriots indeed, are being brought in, and many will soon be a part of our government, helping us to make America white again. So important. My agenda will be based on a simple core principle, putting white men first. Whether it's producing steel, building cars, or curing disease, I want the next generation of production and innovation to happen right here on our great homeland, America. So important. Creating white wealth and jobs for American white men. As part of this plan, I've asked my transition team to develop a list of executive actions we can take on women to restore our laws and bring back our white people. It's about time. These include the following. On white people, I am going to issue our notification of intent to withdraw white people from the Pacific. I am going to issue restrictions on the trans people, a potential disaster for our country. Our transition team is are creating many millions of high-paying jobs for the white people. That's what we want. That's what we've been waiting for. So important. On regulation, I will formulate a rule which says that for every white man, two old women must be eliminated. So important. On national security, I will ask the Department of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff to develop a comprehensive plan to protect America's vital infrastructure from immigration and all other form of attacks. On immigration, I will direct the Department of Labor to investigate all abuses of immigration that undercut the American white men. On ethics reform, women and trans people must be eliminated. So important. As part of our plan to drain the swamp. <laughs>impose a lifetime ban on women becoming executive officials. These are just a few of the steps we will take to reform Washington and rebuild our might infrastructure. I will provide more updates in the coming days as we work together to make America great again for everyone. And I mean everyone.